Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new movement. Well, they're not really new, right? Because they've been around for hundreds, if not more than a thousand or more years, right? But in our new series of movements, I've changed the angle here so it may fit better into your viewing area, whether you're on your iPhone, your Android phone, phone your computer screen, etc., cetera, uh, or maybe you check it out on my YouTube channel. That's where it's gonna be also. So here are the beginning movements of our new practice that eventually will fold into creating the 24. So come on into the Rose Studio. Remember, a rose is where you can give a rose to someone you care, love, think, or want to be with. And so I care, think, enjoy, and want to be with all of you right here in the studio. So we're going to start in our wood key position, yes? <sighs> Just take this moment to breathe, and let's open the door. You pick the foot, traditionally, left side. We always open the door. And then here we're going to gather our hands to our hearts. And this is where we continue. Now, my um, thought or intention for you is that we practice needle to the bottom of the ocean, stepping in with either foot, better yet, practice with both feet, right, of what together is for you and your hinge ability. Remember, our heels and toes do come together unless they are just not allowed to based on what's happening in this area. Yes, yes, or excellent. So now next, your palms come together. Yes, they come to here. We close those fingers, but we don't let our fingers grip. Just let them relax. We become the needle at the bottom of the ocean. So a side angle, right? We go here. Elbows are sunken into the body, not flared out. And then we go to the bottom of our, of our ocean, right? So we point forward. We come down. We take our bow. Pinch your knees together because they want to open up. And then as you come down, sit your bottom back, sink your weight to the center of your foot, depending on what your hinge ability is or how far you come down. One hand opens, rests on top of the other. We float back up with the intention of thinking that this is the air bubble that came from the eye of the needle. And then we come back up, hands fold again. So let's go ahead and put those first movements together. We open the door. Gather our hands to our heart, pick another foot to bring in, keep our knees together, taking our bow, needle to the bottom of the ocean, hands rest on top of each other, we come up, and now we're going to open the big fan. So from here, shift all of your weight, we're going to go here to the beach side, all of your weight to here, your left toe opens, so go ahead and look down if you will. You should have like an, 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 an angle this way, yes? And so then we take our step out. And as you take your step out, the tailbone tucks to sink the energy down. And then there's our step. Based on the strength of this leg is how far out you can go. But both knees still have our bend. Our spine is still lift up. Our tailbone is tucked. Always a bend to each knee. Here are our hands. We bring our toe down. Our knee bends and both hands open up. Now, if you notice here, right, palms are facing away. So I changed my angle so you can see from the back side here. And then the palms are facing away. We feel our shoulder blades pulled together behind. And then we rock back. That's our breath in. And then sending out. We're watching the hand, right? We're going to watch the hand of the leg that steps out. So let me get a little bit out of camera to be more in camera. And then we open. Okay, try bringing this right across the shoulders here. Right. Now, check your elbows. Please look at your elbows. Make sure they are both bent. And your wrists are, are slightly extended, but not pulled all the way back, right? So your fingers aren't pushing. They're more like the letter W. Right. Now, from here, we would practice on both sides, right? So we're going to draw in. I'm going to come back into camera. Ideally, you always step in. In, right? So don't go out and then step forward unless there's just some mechanical reason the body has to do that, right? So here we go. Open up. We come back in. Shift the weight to a rooting in, right? So your feet become the root. We come up. We go ahead. There's our foot 
uh, change. L stands, we come out to the side, up to the height of your collarbone, to your wrist, the height of your collarbone, and then we take our step, we watch the hand pushing out. Splendid. Now, let's go on to our next movement. Close both of your hands. We're gonna let them rest as best as you can to the lumbar spine, right there where the crest of the hip is, right? So right here. Now it's we're only doing this because I want you to feel your shoulder blades pull together and your chest and shoulders release. We're only gonna use one side at a time, but feel this stretch through the chest and shoulders right here. Now that both of your arms come down. Splendid, feel it kind of open in here, yes? So I want you to feel that when we go into the movement. So if you will, let's come back here to opening the big fan. I want you to practice all these movements, of course, on both sides so you can find your Tai Chi. So we open up the big fan. Now the leg that is mostly straight, that hand closes and there it's behind, right? Then we're gonna step in. This hand comes in as a block, but as I've said in class, it's like you're answering your phone, right? And so we pull in, hips, uh, our feet stay hip width apart. So we come in, and as we shift the weight into the yin yang side, we take a small turn. So the turn is your belly button, right? Where my heart, where my uh, peace, heart, and balance symbols are. Uh, goes just almost to the toe. So it's not qigong, right? So we're not trying to see how far the body can turn. And there's just that slight turn. Now when we come back, the hand above comes down right there to my heart and yours as well. And then the hand behind does this movement here. So watch, I'm just gonna change the angle. It pulls up and then the elbow tucks in, right? tucks in. And then it floats down to your waist, right? So it goes behind, there's answer on the phone, there's the turn. We come up and in and down. Now from here, I'm gonna stay at this angle so you can see what's happening. The heart hand, we'll call it, goes out about six inches. You don't need a ruler. Then this hand here does a circular punch. It draws in and out. So here's the whole movement, right? We're so sort of here. We're going to sink down, rise, exhale. Now the hand that punched, which we'll practice on both sides, opens. And once it opens, the hand that punched, the punching hand is a leg that goes into horse stance, right? So we root in to the hand, heart hand, the palms open, but elbows stay down. We come to our horse riding stance. How deep is your horse riding stance? As deep as your hip hinge ability will allow you. And then we open, we scoop back up, bring your left foot in, ideally, and feet come together, we close the door. And those are our new movements. Now, as a reminder, we're going to do some new Qigong, which is in a separate video. The first two movements, um, or two of the movements from Five Animal Wudang style, uh, Five Animal Qigong, which is just a tremendous feel to the body. But if you will, please practice these on both sides, even if you just go into the, the, the movement that flows into the next one, right? Just see what that feels like. And then bring it up, take it down, open up. Step in, you get the idea, all right? So I wish you well, practice, 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 again, as my Shifu says, and also slower, slower, slower. Feel what's happening inside as we express ourselves on the outside. And I'll see you next time in class, either in person or across the screen. Until then, my friends, remember, you've got one life, one body. Make the most of both. I'll see you then, be well.